Hi everyone, it's Mari. I have a video today here for the Just Nick Digital Cut File Store and Design Team. And I do have a coordinating blog post for this video, so pop on over to Nicole's blog. I will leave it linked up in the description box below. I will also link up to the beautiful cut file that I'm going to be using today, which is the Spring Stained Glass Cut File. Now I have actually uh, cut that out three different, or in three different sizes here on my cut Cut mat you can see a larger a medium size and a smaller circle these are all the same cut file like I said the spring stained glass cut file I just wanted to show you how I go about taking the cut file off of my mat it's a fairly intricate cut file so I do want to just take it off very gingerly and make sure that I don't tear any of the different little bits as I'm taking it off my mat I'm using my metal spatula here and this is just going to help me lift the cut file off my sticky mat and get it off and get it released in that way so that it's ready to use on my on my project today now I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do for a design so when I was cutting this out I cut it in three different sizes I wasn't sure if I would use all three of these but I do end up using all three in my design and it's just nice when you're cutting out one of the cut files if you cut as many as you can fit onto your mat I like to do that uh, just because then I have more options when I'm creating my project. Now I'm also going to be using the Felicity Jane Mari kit. This is a beautiful kit. I totally love it. And here you can just see the papers that are part of that kit. Now I have placed those three cut files. You can see how I've placed them here on my white cardstock. And I also cut the uh, cut files out again from the tiny floral and chevron paper from Felicity Jane. I actually enlarged the cut file a little bit. So I just stretched stretched it a tiny little bit bigger than the original cut and what that allows you to do is take the off cut pieces and then just glue them to your paper behind your cut file it's a super easy way to back your cut file so I have done that I didn't back the whole cut file I just wanted to use a have a few spaces backed and the really fun thing about that floral paper is it matches the dress that, of the little girl that's in the um in the photo. Now I did also take this white paper down to my sewing machine and I stitched a little perimeter border all the way around the outside edge, really, really close to the edge of the paper. The white cardstock here that I'm using has been sized down to 11.5 by 11.5 square. And I took a pink paper from the Mari kit and I got the center out of it. I'm just going to use it as a nice frame around the outside edge of my paper here. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down and now I'm going to build the rest of my project. This project comes together super, super fast and I would attribute that to this gorgeous cut file. The really nice thing about using a cut file is it does really allow you to um, make hay while the sun shines, so to speak. You do actually get through your uh, project very quickly when you're using a cut file. So I highly recommend digital designs like this. They're very, very versatile. There's so many ways that you can use these in your different craft projects. And I do really love my Silhouette Cameo. It just still works really well. And I think mine is the Cameo 2, so it's a little bit older, but it cuts Nicole's cut files beautifully and I really love it. Now this larger of the two photos I'm going to scrap today, I wanted to back with some patterns paper. I thought about maybe using the B side of this one but I really wanted to use that pink and it's just so nice because it coordinates with the colors in the photo and then it also of course goes with that frame around the outside edge of the of the layout. I am going to back my photograph here with some half inch 3M foam adhesive and that's just going to give my photo some nice dimension on that patterned paper. So I'm going to get that all adhered down here and get that release paper off the back of it and stick it to that pink paper. I am using my Kokio Teflon scissors here. Uh, people ask me about those. Um, I have mentioned before that I purchased those at the Kauai stationery shop online and they do carry those Kokio scissors in different colors and I really love those. They cut really nicely. Okay, I'm taking my paper distressing tool and I'm going to distress the edges of this pattern paper that I have 
used on my mat here. And I just really love the clean and simple look to this layout. I think it's a beautiful layout, but it just doesn't have, it doesn't have too much on it, but just enough to really make the photos stand out, which was what I wanted, um, but bring in different elements of that Mari kit to combine and coordinate with this gorgeous cut file. Now I am going to also use a smaller photo. Um, the larger photo is I think like four by 3.5 or something. It's not exactly square, but it's, um, yeah, so it's a little bit taller than it is wide. And this smaller photo is kind of the same dimensions, it's just smaller. So now you can just see that I'm going to do exactly the same thing with this smaller photo that I did with the larger. I'm going to give it some dimension with that foam adhesive again and back it onto that same pink patterned paper. And I will just have a tiny little pink border on this photo here for my photo mat. So going to go ahead and get that stuck down to my paper and I will be ready to start thinking about the embellishments for my project. Now I did just use a few of the die cut pieces from the Mari kit and I'm also going to be using the really awesome chipboard alphas that are in that kit as well. They're a white alpha with a little tiny pink line on them which uh, are so super pretty and they really coordinate nicely with everything that I'm using here. So really love those too. I am going to trim the excess paper off of this photo mat with my Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer. So you'll just see me sliding the, the uh, photo into that and cutting that uh, up so that it's just got that tiny little border on it. So we'll just talk about uh, digital cut files here again for a second. If you have kind of been on the fence about getting a an electronic cutting machine like the Cameo or the Cricut, something like that, the Brother Scan and Cut, etc., um, I just I really do highly recommend it. There's so many ways that you can use that in your craft space for card making and scrapbooking. You can cut vinyl on them and make all kinds of different projects. I know people uh, buy cups like. Um, coffee cups and they put things on those with their using their uh, silhouette or their digital um, electronic cutting machine so they are a really versatile fun uh, tool to have in your craft space and I definitely have never regretted purchasing mine and I think I've had mine for well I've been on Nicole's team I think this is my third year for sure and I had it for a couple years before that I don't know I feel like I've had it for maybe five years or something four or five for sure so here you can just see I'm making sure that even though I'm overlapping those two photos and I really love that I don't want to cover up any of that bunny cake on the photo that's on the left so I'm just making sure that I'm overlapping them to the point where nothing important gets covered and I'm just checking out here kind of where I want to put my die cut pieces now I always love the look of having when you have a circle shape on your project it's always fun if you can work it to have your title following the curve of one of your circles or more than one if you've got more than one circle I just think it's a super fun way to add a title to a piece and that's exactly what I'm going to do here so my title is going to be cookies and cake and you can see in the larger photo there she's just looking at that bunny cake that her mom made for Easter so this is these are Easter photos and then in the smaller photo she's I think she's eating a cookie although I did not confirm that with her mother I do believe that is what she is eating in that left on that photo in that photo on the right I should say so I'm going to get these all placed and then I will take my liquid adhesive and get everything all attached down onto my project I have left um, some space there below the photo on the right for some journaling and I am now just thinking about adding this die cut tag piece to the top I will actually end up leaving that there and I'm going to tie some white twine in a bow in the little grommet of that tag I also wanted to use three of the dimensional vellum butterflies from the Mari kit they're so beautiful so I'm going to use a pink kind of a peachy color and a yellow yes the other one's yellow so I'm going to put that one up the yellow one up at the top and then the peach colored one at the bottom and I am going to adhere those on with some glue dots I really like using glue dots for something like that because they're super super sticky and they're clear so they're not going to show up as much and they are also dimensional so they're a good a good type of adhesive to use for a vellum piece like these butterflies 
So I just love those butterflies. They're so fun and they look so nice on the cut file with the florals and really, really gorgeous. So again, this is the spring stained glass cut file and I will leave it linked up in the description box below. You can see that bow that I tied in the twine on the tag there and my layout is all finished up. Thank you so much friends for stopping by today. I will link up to the Just Nick Digital Cut File Shop in the description box below so make sure you check that out and I also have that coordinating blog post that I will link up to as well. Please make sure if you haven't subscribed that you subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Have an amazing day, friends. Bye-bye.